we can see there and then we literally just run it along. So a nice quick fitting guide and also a review of this um, Folu screen protector for my Samsung Z Fold 3. Um, I've had lots of accidents with it dropping it. Primarily though, it was with the initial case that came, which was the, the Samsung one with the fold front. Uh, absolutely terrible. As soon as you try opening it, you drop the phone. So because of that, the screen got a bit damaged or the protector got damaged, I should say, because it did its job. Um, you'll see it further in the video uh, where the damage was. So the pack, I've paid uh, just under £13 for this. And my wife's got a Z Fold 3 as well. Uh, her screen's worse than mine, so I'm going to be replacing hers because this is a, a, a twin pack. But not only is it a twin pack, you get the uh, protector for the front screen, for the small screen, and you also get the protector for the fold-out screen in the centre as well. So two front screens, then two centre screen uh, protectors in the pack. And that's all for, as I say, under £13. But more importantly, let's just carry on with the video. I've purchased the Folu screen protector primarily because, um, having looked on YouTube, uh, it, it looked to be not only the easiest to fit, but also uh, it gave the best um, tactile experience on the screen. Some of the soft screen protectors that I've had previously, your finger drags, uh, because it's, it's, it's plastic or rubber, your finger drags on it so you don't get that ease of use when you're scrolling, that type of thing. Right, let's have a look what's in the pack. Right, quite a lot in the pack. Uh, so you've got your toolkit, which is basically for cleaning. You've got two quantity of the inside screen protector, two quantity of the front screen protector. In addition to that, you get two rear protectors for the camera. Um, I have seen those, uh, they take away the matte effect from the phone, so I will be using those. You also get a protector for the spine, two of those. Now that would have come useful for something. And you get a squeegee for, uh, for laying it onto the screen. This is mine, so this is the one that I'm going to put the screen protector on first. Uh, as you can see, that's where it's dodgy, down in the bottom there. Uh, if I turn the screen off, you'll actually see it better. Yeah, there we go. So we'll be replacing the whole of this. Um, the case that I use, uh, it's a case that covers everything. Um, fortunately, I mean, I was in Phuket and I came off. You can see that it's scuffed on the side there, scuffed there without breaking the glass, which was a, a good one. The case is actually wrecked, but it, it really did protect the phone. So, so that was good. You can see where it's scuffed there. Anyway, let's get on and, uh, and get the screen protector on. All right, first thing to do, let's pull off the existing screen protector. So I'll pull it off from, from where it's damaged. Comes off nice and easy, in fact, very easy. Uh, flimsy plastic, but did a great job of protecting the screen. So let's pop that to one side. And without dirtying it, we'll undo the cleaning tools. See what's inside. Okay, so we've got a link cloth and a wet wipe and a dabber for dust. All right, let's, uh, let's wet wipe it first. I think it's the edges that are going to be the issue there. Move that. Let's get the cloth. Wipe that down. Okay, got that. All right, so I'll get the, the dust remover. And in all honesty, there shouldn't be any dust on it. Okay, that's fine. Put that down. All right, nice and easy take this out and one of the things I like about this is on um, on some of the cheaper ones you don't get the cut out you just get a solid piece of, of plastic 
not that that'd make any difference, but I just I just like that that that's not the case with this. So center it up with the camera at the top there. That's tacky. So that's going to hold it in place, this center. But because there's no adhesive at any of the edges, and there's not a problem there. I just need some better light on this. Right, because it's black, doesn't make it easy. So let's have a look, see if that's made it any easier. Yeah, I can see the camera much better there. Right, okay. All right, so we've done that. Next thing to do, get the squeegee. And we lift up this so that it goes like that. If you can see there. And then we literally just run it along. Like that. I'll turn it around and do the same. No air bubbles in there, that's fantastic. So again, lift it up. And then just run it along. So that's the cover on. Perfectly. Now, we should just be able to lift this off. And look at that. That, that is an absolute work of art. Right, look at that. That's fantastic. In summary, that was the easiest screen protector I've ever put on. You had the slight adhesive in the middle, which allowed you to center it up, make sure everything was okay, and then the full adhesion went on on two sides with the squeegee. Really, really easy. Uh, particularly like the fact that it's got the cutout for the camera. Not that that will, um, if it didn't have the cutout, not that it would hinder the camera in any way or the uh, face ID, uh, but it actually makes it easier to center because you're putting the hole over the camera so you know that it's in the right place. The other thing as well, there's no screen protector on the curved edge of the phone, so there's going to be no peeling back on that. And as you can see, Everything's working well there. Your finger does slide easily on it. There's no grip in her. So yeah, absolutely fantastic. That's a big recommendation.